As you know that we are discussing a very important module in our series that is phonetics. And in phonetics, we have discussed what is phonetics, what are the branches of phonetics, and what is the mechanism that is involved by producing this sound. And now we are moving towards the other issues. The one important issue is that if human beings, human, human individual, every individual speak some sounds, can we categorize the sound? Is it possible? Yes, students, this is possible. In this video, we are going to tell you that how we can classify the sounds. And in English language, we have the alphabet in traditional language, the alphabets, the letters of alphabet. That, uh, uh, these are the alphabets, and these alphabets are 26 in numbers, and they have the two portions. One is the consonants sound, the other is the vowel sounds. So this is very important point. We have the alphabets, the sounds, the alphabets, and that alphabet can be categorized in the two domain. One domain is called consonants, the other domain is called vowel. So here the question is that what is the consonant sounds and what are the sounds that we can say that they are the consonants? See, what are the consonant sounds in English language? See, the consonant sounds in English language are 21 in number. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And we have another set that is the vowel. We have the five vowel. One is the A, E, I, O, U. These are the two sets of the sound that we can say that one set is called the consonant and the other set is called the vowel. So the question is that that we are dealing the phonetics, the production of sound. In the definition of the phonetics, I have claimed that phonetics, the study of the production of sound, the processing of sound, and the perception of sound. So the question is that how we can distinguish, how we can differentiate that this is the sound that we can say that this is the consonant sound and this is the sound that we can say that this is the vowel sound. To check, to differentiate the sound, we have the another definition. Basically, the consonant word has come from the Greek word consonant, which means the production of sound with the help of another sound. This is the definition of the Greek word consonant. And in, in phonetics, consonants mean the sounds that is produced by stoppage or the partial stoppage or any abstraction. This is the pure definition of the consonant sound. When we produce any sound that fulfill the three requirements that is produced with the stoppage of breeds or partial stoppage of breeds or any abstraction, this sound will be called the consonant sound in the phonetics. The other sound is the vowel sounds. Vowel is sound is produced without any abstraction. These sounds are produced with the approximation and without any abstraction these sounds are called the vowel sound and in phonetics how we can differentiate the sound how we can check that what are the differences between the vowel sound or the vowel sound are similar or not 
No, the vowel sounds are not similar. The consonant sounds are not similar because they have the different sounds, the different properties. The sounds are produced with the different parts of articulator and different articulators involved. When we produced even any single sound in the 26 alphabets, and see how we can check this is the consonant sound and this is the vowel sound when we talk about the consonant sound we have to check the three things one is the voicing mean if the sound is produced our vocal fold vibrates or not if our vocal folds vibrate we can say that this is the voiced sound and this is the quality of the consonant sound and if the vocal folds don't vibrate, we can say that this is the voiceless sound. And this is the first property. And at the phonation process, this, at the A stream mechanism process, this is the second process, the phonation process. At the phonation process, we will say we will see that that how the sound is produced, either the sound is voicing or the unvoicing. So the voiced and unvoiced is the property of the consonant sound. The second is the case of articulation. When I am speaking, you are listening that my lips are moving, my tongue is moving. The question is that what is the place? That particular place my tongue touches. This is the place of articulation. The third one is the manner of articulation. How the sound is produced or what is the manner of articulation. So these are the third way in which we can differentiate this is the consonant sound and within the consonant sound we can differentiate one consonant sound to the other consonant sound. So let's move towards the next domain that is the of vowel sound as we had claimed that vowels are produced with the any abstraction these are produced the level of approximation and say if we want to differentiate the one vowel to another vowel we can say that one vowel is totally different from the other vowel like you can see that the a e i o u for the production of these five vowel sound we have the different place of articulation, different mechanism and how we can differentiate one sound to the other sound. See, there are basically three things. One is the height of the tongue. This is the very important thing that you must keep in mind. When we produce the vowel sound, the height of the tongue, what part of the tongue is raised as lowered? This is very important. Where is the height of tongue? This is very important. Why production of the vowel sound? The second is the part of tongue. What part of tongue is raising a lower? In the previous video, I have told you that the part of tongue, the blade of tongue, the edge of tongue, the front of tongue, the back of tongue, the middle of the tongue. And in the, the part of tongue, what part of the tongue is raised and what the part of the tongue that is lowered and this is the second mechanism second process that we can differentiate one vowel sound from the other sound other vowel sound and the third one is the lips the position of the lips when we produce the vowel sound there are the five vowel when produce the vowel sound how we can say that this is the this type of vowel and this is the this type of vowel we can say that we can differentiate that the lip position of lips. Either our lips are rounding or unrounding. Let's see. If we say uh, our lips don't round. If we say U book, you notice that your lips are rounding. And these are the mechanisms that is involved when we differentiate one sound to the other sound and you must know that all these things if you want to study phonetics and this is very important for you to know that what are the sound 
and how we differentiate the sound and how we can describe the sound phonetically. And if you want to more, know more about language and linguistics, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.